What is up guys, it is the Gaming News Stuff here, and we're back with some more War for the Overworld. The uh, 1.3 patch has just come out for War for the Overworld, and so we're playing that. And the most notable change in the 1.3 pack is this here map editor, as you can see right here under multiplayer. So today we are doing a map editor video, I have not touched the map editor yet, so we are going to go through this together. This isn't... A tutorial it is more so just um like a uh, what do you want to call it just a let's build a map together basically um I have like obviously experience with this game a bit and dungeon keeper map editor a little bit obviously I well, not obvious but I've worked out that that doesn't work very well on Windows 7 so I can't make maps anymore because I'm on Windows 7 and it only worked on like my XP now in Empire faction team we'll just go hero we'll have two players Empire neutral and terrain map name what should we call this map the darkness yes epic source okay um yep I like it let's create a map so, basically what we're going to do here is experiment with all the different tools in the map editor. See how intuitive it is, how well it works, and hopefully make a sick map. A sick map, bruh. And here we have our map. Now, we can't zoom out any further than this, but that is okay. We made a 128 by 128 map, so it's quite a large little map here. Doesn't really make sense, large and little. But we are going to do two players and an empire. So, if, okay, so, let's have a look. Terrain, special terrain, rooms, special rooms, defenses, constructs, units, empire units, artifacts, and mirror. Okay, so let's go empire, terrain, claimed tile. Give them a nice little flamed tile in here. Now, kind of want to make sure that it's symmetrical. I know I could use the mirror tool, but don't feel like it. Okay, awesome. Now, that is going to be the start of our little... Thingo, our little area for these bitches. Now, we want... Flamed Earth. Paint Faction. Uh, can we have... Flamed Tile, Dirt, Sacred Ground. None of that appears to be what I want. Um, let us... Have a look, and I should cut back when I find it. Okay, guys, I um found this tool here, Paint Faction, and I worked out that that is how you do the walls. So if I paint it on all of these walls here, they are now all hero walls. Now I'm going to put a hero dungeon heart in there. Dungeon core. Missing player faction. Okay, I guess the heroes don't get a dungeon core. But we will put an overworld gateway. Right there. Which appears to not be centered at all. So, how do I go about deleting that? Oop, nope. Not it. Uh, I will. Maybe I can just re-put yep, that there. Now we want to build this little bitch here, but we do want it to be... Okay, so we can't really center it. It's not the right shape to center. So in that case, we will put one. This is not symmetrical at all. There. 
and then we will make this maybe a little bit symmetrical there and I'm actually going to expand this and this here put it another one here now that looks kind of symmetrical so that's a step in the right direction let us claim our walls I am going to dig through these walls this isn't going to be all that the hero has but it's a start so next up we will grab the claimed tile here I wish I could zoom out more is there not a way to zoom out any more than this but we're going to dig in no, that's not what I wanted to do there. I wanted to put earth there. Dig in all directions. Now that was on that side of the border, so we'll put this one on this side, this one on this side, and this one on this side. And we are going to put some traps and stuff in here. So, port colors, definitely good idea to have on each corner. Now, we're going to have this as a pretty difficult map. So, we're going to have, oh, I punched my microphone, apologies, some powerful goddamn um, units. Now... I haven't played through the whole campaign, so I haven't actually seen all of these units, but I feel like Lordo, Lordo Thieland is definitely a necessary unit. Now, oh, that's not what I meant to do. Please ignore my inability. Oh, okay. So, whoa, I'm not sure what's going on here. How? Ugh, how do I change this guy's... Aha! So, we want him to be level 9 Empire. And we want him to have some freaking bodyguards. So, let's give him some Juggernaut bodyguards. Make all of them level 8. Level 8. Now, this video I will be cutting around the place because it's probably going to be a decently long recording. So, um, if parts don't make 100% sense, hopefully they will, but if they don't, you know why. Now, this is the main base, so, I just realised that's right next to the wall and that's not. So, in other words, I want to definitely move that to the wall. So, overworld gateway right there. Which means I kind of want to move this one as well to the... Uh, so that's not in front of the gate. It's got four there and two there. Oh, who cares about symmetricality? They're heroes. They don't care. We'll put an overall gateway there. There we go. Looks like garbage. As a matter of fact, I kind of care about symmetricality. So we're going to put that one there so it kind of makes sense now he was meant to be level eight so let's put him as level eight now we have already started to build our little rooms off of here and so i um, don't think the heroes have proper rooms so we're going to just give them some little Five by five areas. I'm pretty sure that's five by five. That's five by four. Now it's five by five. So we'll give them some five by fives right there. And here. Now I will um make their walls empire walls nearer near the end. But we now need to decide what the enemy is going to have. So, 
gargoyle right there. Now we want him to face that way. A gargoyle there. Whoop, there. I find it strange that clicking on them deletes them. But so far, this map editor seems pretty bloody intuitive. Seems like it runs pretty well. And there's some good options on what you can do on it. Now we are going to put some vanguards in here. We will make them level 7. Level 7. I have a um, bit of interest actually in looking into recreating the maps from Dungeon Keeper 1. If no one's done it yet. Um, even if I just make the ones that are actually good for battling. Um, I reckon that would be a lot of fun, like the campaign maps. Um, I'm not sure if you can do like commands for certain enemies to do certain things in this little thing here. Okay, so, so far we have a decent little enemy base set up. Around there. Oh, oh, I didn't click the right thing. That. What the fuck? We have a decent little hero base. Now, I do want to put another trap, one there, one there, one there, and one there. And you can change overdrive or not. I want these doors to be locked closed and to turn AI control off so that you can't just waltz in. You have to destroy the door. And so far, I think that that is a pretty good base for the heroes. Now, we want to put our hero bases. So, Underlord 1, which will be main player, so you. And then, we need to put down some imps. Six imps is definitely a good, good little start right there. Now, I feel like it's a bit dull to just start with nothing going on. Just just a dungeon heart is a bit boring. So firstly, we're going to put the necessities in, such as our little gateway there, shrine there, perception shrine there. A mana shrine, maybe a decent idea. So we have something slightly important in each corner. Let's replicate that down here so that we don't forget. Mana shrine, Slightly in a wrong place, but there. And a perception shrine. Right there. So, in theory, I should change this alignment to neutral. One thing we should do is put some brimstone up here. This part here. I'm actually going to leave it wide open for the empire go through there now since that's the case i want to give the empire some sappers now i want them to be level five and we are going to now place some more little portals right there 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 and there so that there is temptation to go there by the players and we're also going to place perception shrines around on the axes too so that there is more of a like allure to go there some prisons in each in the corners that the players aren't these are going to be eight by eight prisons. And inside, we're going to have neutral units. Some of these neutral units are going to be these guys, so heroes. So we will place two high guards, two juggernauts, two matriarchs. And so, I'm pretty sure that Neutral in this would be the same as it is in previous Dungeon Keepers. In which 
these units are claimable by like any any character. So far we have a decent little looking base. Now we definitely want gold seams over here. Not sure if I'm laying out this gold fairly, but YOLO. Okay, so now we have gold on both sides. And what I'm going to do is set up some Empire Hero stuff over here so that you can't just get in easily. Impenetrable rock around everywhere except for the entrance of this place so that they're not easy units to get. And so I will come down here and do the same bloody thing, hopefully, without you guys having to see it. Okay guys, as you can see here, I've replicated pretty similarly the same little layout down the bottom corner here as it is up the top corner. Uh, I didn't bother doing all these hero claimed walls because down here... I just put these instead, so it's not like you can get through anyway. Um, so, next freaking up right here, I feel like I want to put more brimstone. Now, as you guys can see here, I've pretty much covered all of the shrines and everything in brimstone, so that if it is... Um, if you destroy one piece of brimstone, it'll trigger the entire area. I've just expanded this out so that it doesn't get the inner brimstone. Um, and I might do that on this side a little bit too, just to make it so that shit doesn't break loose immediately. Now, so far, this looks like a pretty, pretty regular looking map. So let's chuck in a bunch of water around the place, shall we? Okay, so as you can see, we have a little bit of solid water flowing around. Now we actually want empire bases in the water, I'm thinking. Thinking that'll make for some scary shit when you approach into the water. So we will make some... Three, no, five by five tiles. As you guys can see, I've now finished putting these little bases around the water. I've got five of them in total, all with some level three temple guards all around there. So our base, I mean our map, is looking pretty good, I'd say, at the moment. Now, I'm feeling we need... Some sort of treacherous, ugh, treacherous lava pit area. Preferably one on each side of the map. And then, using our Empire Territory, we're going to have Bombards. Let's put in Sir Rousamoff. Bang. So the player can get a Sir Rousamoff at level 6. Sorry guys, my fraps managed to crash midway through recording this little bit here, but I was just finishing down here. So as you can see now, we have a pretty freaking good map, if you ask me. I think this map is playable now. As a matter of fact, one little change, which is to add gold all over the freaking place because I don't want this map to be one of them stingy maps where you can't get any gold and you have to fight for survival. We want this to be a map of all out freaking war. Complete and utter freaking war. And so we are putting gold all over the goddamn place right now. Gold everywhere coming out, you freaking ass. Gold, gold, gold. And up here. Okay, so as you guys can see on the map down here, it looks pretty nice. We are done for now. So, if you guys enjoyed 
my first attempt at the War for the Overworld map editor. Make sure to let me know, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you want to see me play this map in a skirmish mode, again, make sure to let me know and I will play this map and I will kill every single one of these little heroes here. They will not stand a chance. Anyway, guys, I'm the Gaming News Stuff, and peace out.